Well, here we are again. Welcome to another three-point VSE tutorial. Oh, it's a bit presumptuous to call them tutorials. They're really just demonstrations of technology. Anyway, here we go. I've got Blender loaded up. And which version have I got? Let's have a look at the splash screen. This is 2.5 release 37112. Uh, this is incorporated a wonderful new tool called the... going to add... Effect strip adjustment layer. Adjustment layers are great things. They allow you to fix your footage and uh, see if I can get any sort of playback from the system. I've uh, brought in some H.264 from my Canon 550D and of course it doesn't play back very well at all. And this footage is actually a uh, Motion JPEG um, proxy that I have assigned to the vision clip. So I've clicked on the vision clip and assigned a proxy and a proxy custom file and I've navigated to the render that I performed from, from uh, Blender. Now this isn't the proxy generation Blender, that's a, uh, a side uh, a side project that hasn't been incorporated into the trunk yet. Um, uh, and I'm also running the display screen at low resolution at 25% just to speed the uh, playback up. I'm still accessing the audio from the original file so it's a sort of pseudo muxed version of the uh, proxy, which is wonderful. I'm running that quietly at the moment. Hopefully you can still hear me. Over here I'm looking at a waveform monitor, and the waveform monitor is set at high resolution so that I can zoom into it like this and have a look at um, a high quality version of my peaks and troughs. And as we can see on my footage, I'm running the Technicolor uh, picture style, which means that all my black areas around here uh, are quite high on the graticule. And if we zoom out, we can see that a lot of the data has been pushed up away from the dark space of the signal, away from compression artifacts, which is wonderful. But of course, we need to grade them out again in Blender. So put drag that black point back down again. Uh, now, in, to improve the picture performance, I'm just doing. I'm going to preview a different channel, so a minus one channel, and that kills that display so it doesn't have to worry about rendering it when I hit playback. See how it plays better? Isn't that wonderful? So there's my kids playing and trying to play some camera. Now I want to uh, put some transform effects on that. Previously I would actually apply a transform strip. This time I've got some pre-built effects and here they are in another scene. I've made a black point fix from the uh, adjustment strip. So there's an adjustment strip I'll copy and I'll swap back to my other scene and paste those to the timeline. Of course it's pasted in the wrong spot. So just G, grab those up, Shift S to snap it back and you can see now that the image has changed so it's a bit darker. Down the bottom, if I activate the waveform monitor you can see that it's dragged back down. If I turn off the color correction there, you can see that it pops up, pops down. Now if I wanted to use a different correction on any clip, I can just pop over to my scene with all of the uh, corrections pre-built. I can copy this one to the clipboard, pop back to my master scene, get rid of the previous one or I could why don't we just null that so I'll poke it in the eye, deactivate the correction so our levels pop back up again and I will paste the new one on top drag that up to the track above shift S to snap it and now there's my warm correction let's play that back I'll notice a bit of frame dropping that's probably because I've got the Water running, but it's it fine. No, it's not on the camera. So there we go. So you can set up a, a bunch of looks um, based on waveform monitor and and histogram. You can see that I've stretched it back into the black. Um, there's a bit of uh, data loss in the histogram here. Uh, you can turn back on convert uh, convert to float but kills the uh, histogram, bye bye histogram. Looking at it in the waveform monitor though, it does tend to uh, 
reduce a bit of uh, noise loss. Of course, I'm using a JPEG compression, which is already losing quite a bit of information as it is. When I turn off the uh, proxy, there's some gain back in image quality, though. Nothing that you can notice at the moment, I don't think. Anyway, that's the uh, new strip called Adjustment Layers. They are not attached to the uh, strip itself. They can be moved anywhere uh, on the timeline. You can stretch the same adjustment clip out over a number of strips and uh, use it as a um, program-wide uh, color correction for the uh, end. No doubt there'll be uh, further strips introduced in the future. Let's hope for uh, matting shapes and uh, vignettes and uh, um, uh, different kinds of blurs and crops uh, so that we can do power windows for color correction so there's something else to look forward to without having to render it in the 3D view. That's what I'd be hoping for. Of course you can always do it with keyed graphics at the moment but you can't pipe different layers into them uh, for corrections. Uh, but something else to look forward to. Anyway, uh, let's hope for further improvement and uh, I'll see everybody next time. Thanks very much for listening.